<clears throat> What's happening YouTube? Well, I got a new project, I guess an ongoing project. Um, this right here is uh, my new motor that I just picked up uh, from eBay. Um, I'll post the link in the description. But uh, this is a Powerland PD200E. This is a 6.5 horsepower engine. Um, and then, um, I don't know if any of you folks visit Harbor Freight, my good friends. They do sell their Predator motor, same engine. Uh, I think they sell for about 100 bucks. Uh, this one is 130 free shipping on eBay. Um, I got it real quick, actually. Um, again, I'll post a link in the description. But uh, the difference between Harbor Freight's and mine is right there. We've got electric start. So um, this is our electric start. Um, here, let's take a look at this. Our electric start. Um, that would help if I didn't have it upside down. Electric start uh, box. So got our wiring box here. Um, again, the motor just came in yesterday. There's our box. Comes in a very, very uh, well packaged box. Uh, looks like directly from the manufacturer, Powerland. Um, it is from China, so hey, you know it is what it is. But uh, gonna do a quick review now. Uh, you may be wondering what that motor's for, and that's what it's for right there. Uh, excuse the mess. Yes, it's covered in shit. Um, the golf cart here. Um, I will be cleaning it up here before I finish this video. 1976 Club Car Karochi uh, is what it's called. Um, I'll take some better videos of it. Uh, came as an electric golf cart. Um, I did add the tail lights. Haven't done the lift yet. We'll post a video of doing the lift as well. If you notice, there's seats laying right there. My good friends at Cabela's, one and two. This guy here has two regular seats that look just like that. Um, again, there's stuff all over it here. I've just been using it as storage. Um, when I got the golf cart, I did put in a gas motor in there. However, the gas motor that I put in, unfortunately, did not have reverse. So, I remedied that by picking up one of these. This right here is an MTD riding mower transmission. And this has forward, reverse, and neutral. So, there's a sprocket right there. Shaft right here goes um, where you mount the, I guess it came with a pulley for a belt. There's the pulley right there. However, I will not be using a belt pulley here. I will be using a sprocket more than likely. Not sure yet, possibly. Um, but as we continue the video here of this project, of this mod, um, I will um, explain what it is that I'm doing. Obviously, the transmission is made for uh, a vertical shaft engine. Mine is of course horizontal so I will have to reposition and custom make some brackets for that transmission however at this point I'd like to do a quick review on the video uh, on the motor is what I meant and uh, um, again it's brand new still dry have no oil in it no fuel in it so we'll be doing that now um, so stay tuned and then uh, for the next video <laughs> 